How's it going Guardians? Shifty here and with the Presage mission going away with the launch of the Witch Queen, I had to do a last run on all three characters. So far I've done a run on a Warlock and a Titan already and of course I'm going to be doing a Hunter run in today's video. I had some requests to do this but I was already planning on doing it anyway. Now before I get into my loadout here, as always if you end up enjoying the video make sure to hit that like button and if you're new to my channel don't forget to subscribe as well. Alright, my loadout here should be familiar to you if you checked out my solo run of the Grandmaster Devil's Slayer Nightfall on a Hunter. I'm going to be running Bottom Tree Gunslinger, but this time I have the Swarm Grenade, but I'm keeping Celestial Nighthawk. Next up, for my weapons I have Arbalist in my Kinetic slot, in my Energy slot I have the Arctic Haze, Solar Auto Rifle, and in my Heavy slot I have the Threaded Needle. Next up, for my armor mods I'll just quickly show you each piece of armor, and if you need to see anything in more detail, just pause the video. As I did with my Warlock and Titan run, I will be including live commentary in this video. With that said, let's get into it. Alright, so just as I did with my Warlock and Titan, this is going to be my final video posted of the Master Presage. I had several requests from people on my other videos to do a Hunter run, so that's why I'm doing this today. Now, if you checked out my solo run of the Grandmaster Devil's Lair yesterday, you may recognize this loadout. The only difference is I swapped my Wolf Tone Draw out for the Arctic Haze Auto Rifle. So we're going to see how the Celestial Golden Gun does in the Master Presage mission. Now, if you've never soloed a mission before, I wouldn't recommend starting with the Master difficulty. In fact, you can use the same strategy that I'm using on the Normal difficulty if you want to give that a go. If you do end up doing the normal difficulty, Arbalist isn't really necessary because you don't need to break any energy shields with it. I just like to use it because you can break any energy shield with it, even when match game is on. So it frees up my ability to use whatever subclass and other weapons that I want. Skip these screams. Idols sustained by fixation until there is nothing left to you. Pretty much skip every screeb in this. No need to stand and fight them. I'm going to try to bait them with my jump like that. Worked out pretty well. I didn't want that scrape running up on me. While I was destroying that fuse. Now that we're in the trash compactor, I want to look for my fuses.
So far, no luck. I see two of them now. There's a third one. And I'm going to head back. But I'm going to go for this one on the edge before it disappears. Grab that one. And grab my final one. And head into this grate. the snipers there's one there where's the other one at there it is and now we're gonna go for the ravagers We have a second wave coming in. Hopefully this one goes a little bit better. I would say it did. Now I'm going to go for the two chieftains. Break the shield on that one. First one down. And go for the second one. Second one down. And now we can move on. To start things off, I'm actually going to go for this Arc Chieftain down low right away. Or not. I guess I'll go for the ones up top. There's just too many enemies that could see me where I was at. I need to be very careful here. I'm going to grab this ammo since I'm going to need it. My aim was a little bit better there. I would have had better luck. My aim is not very good today. Alright, I'm going to go ahead and take out the remaining enemies right below me. I think there should just be a couple. And now we have a Screeb spawn and there's going to be Abomination spawning two of them as well as a bunch of Ravagers. I'm going to wait for those right here. Because for the most part, I can kill them as they jump up. I have some Screeves coming up here. Alright, now that the Screebs are down, we have the Abominations. And I missed the crit. That would have been much better with the crit. Screebs. I heard them spawning, so I was ready immediately. There's some Screebs on the edges here. Should be coming my way here any second. I'm going to go ahead and kill both of them simultaneously like that. And here's another group of Ravagers.
pretty easily took those out. And there's a bunch of screams coming my way. Alright, now I think I should just have the chieftains that are down low and then we can move on. Okay, this one's being a little... That one was being a little glitchy. And this isn't going as smoothly as I would have liked because, for one, the enemies are being glitchy like that. I'm getting some non-ideal scream spawns. Can I actually go ahead and take this chief now, or can I hit it? And more Scream Spawns. I'm going to go ahead and super this Chief just because I don't feel like dealing with it. And that should do it. Took a little bit longer than I would have liked, but we did make it through. In that situation, I probably would have been better off just leaving one abomination up and clearing the ads. another Screeb hiding? There is indeed. Alright, let's pull the lever. Shoot the fuse. Jump up. Grab this lever. And I was able to exit through that electrical barrier, but you do have to be careful for that. You generally don't want to do that because you'll probably end up dying if you don't have enough time left. Almost forgot to grab that buff there. No need to be shy about using the ammo that I have to clear these rooms out. And we're almost to the boss fight. Oh, 
go ahead and finish that one. We have the two abominations. One down. And two. I got in to refresh the buff. Perfect. And here we are at the boss fight. Time to grab a rally banner quick. And the boss is going to spawn right there. And the boss is going away. Get ready for the chieftain. First chieftain down. Second chieftain down. Third one is down as well. We're going to get some more stalkers spawning right after I kill that one. Should be two more on the other side. Take care of those. Now we can head into the first boss damage phase. Gotta activate the two councils on the outside, and then I'm gonna go in and activate the third and final one. And I can head down and start my first boss damage phase. Just gonna hop up quick, head to the other side. There's so many enemies right there. Rather be safe than sorry, and it's only going to take like one more arbalist shot to get it down. I guess two. There we go. Head up here and be ready for the chieftain spawn. There's going to be one chieftain right here, I believe. No other enemies. I was trying to farm a bit of super energy there. Don't think I'll have it for the second damage phase, at least not for the first part anyway. Alright, I'm going to head out the other side here. down, get as much damage as I can right away. You have to be careful for enemy spawns up top here. I 
I do have a super up. I'm going to go ahead and use my super just like that and head on up. Prepare for the next wave of chieftains. Try not to die to grenades. One chieftain down. Second chieftain down. Any orbs lying around here? I might actually have my super for this third damage phase. Grab the three councils. I think that stalker that came up behind me was actually the one from in here. So what I'm going to do, obviously I'm going to go head down here. I'm going to head up here real quick. Unfortunately, we did get a spawn of chieftains up top. You can always run through the building like that. But I'm going to go ahead and use some linear fusion rifle ammo and then go ahead and pop my super and finish the boss off. And now we can head to the loot room. And that was a solo flawless completion of the Master Presage mission on a Hunter. I hope that you enjoyed the video, and if you did, remember to like and subscribe. I just want to thank you for watching, and I'll catch you on the next one.